Stabilization is about stopping and preventing unwanted movement. A good way to think of this is to use a triangle or pyramid. A pyramid with a narrow base or footprint is not very stable and can be tipped over easily. A pyramid with a wide footprint is much more stable. In the past, it was relatively easy to stabilize vehicles that were not on their wheels. Often a couple of wedges pounded under the car were sufficient. The surfaces on these cars were relatively flat and were made of fairly thick steel. This provided a solid surface against the ground when they rolled and provided good resistance so that wedges could be pounded in for stability. We call these cars bricks. When you do extrication training in a junkyard, you're almost always training on bricks. The cars that are being manufactured today are more like beach balls. Sides and roofs are thin steel or plastic, which act like springs when they roll and bounce. They're very round, which causes these vehicles to have a narrow footprint when they end up on their sides or roofs. Wedges are often absorbed by the dent-resistant panels, which eliminates their effectiveness. The best way to stabilize the beach ball cars is with tension buttresses. A buttress is simply a column tipped over with its top anchored to the car. We commonly call these struts. We then use a tensioning device, such as a ratchet strap, to pull the base of the strut toward the car. This compresses the strut between the car and the ground, applying force against the car in both a sideways and vertical direction. The flatter the strut angle, the more side force while a more upright strut applies more vertical force. Using two or more struts on opposite sides of a car causes these forces to cancel each other out and squeeze the car like a vise. This creates a pyramid with a very wide footprint producing a very stable car so that rescuers can perform their job safely and with minimal risk of having vehicle motion further injure the patient.